During this video you're going to see how to change a tonal sketch into a simple black and white image that can then be transferred onto Lino. Here you can see an original tonal sketch. This is what the tonal sketch could look like once it's turned to a black and white image. This is what a Native American design could look like if you wanted more of a challenge. Notice how I've positioned the ovoids, eye shapes, cheek shapes and U shapes within the design. I'm choosing the best shape to match the similar shapes that you would find on the original animal. Here is a pupil example of a fish. Their tonal sketch is on the right and their image that they're developing into a Native American design is on the left. They've started to put the shapes in and haven't quite shaded all of them yet. It is really important to try and keep the outlines of the Native American shapes smooth. Here is another pupil design. They started to mark the outlines indicating changes in tonal areas. Can you spot any areas that they haven't yet identified an outline for? Remember we're looking for different tonal areas that we can change into either black or white. If they're a mid-tone or darker then ideally we'd like these to be black. If they're a lighter tone then we can turn these to white or there are sometimes tricky areas where sometimes we have to go against this rule. Here you can see I've placed my tracing paper over the top of my tonal drawing. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the outline of each tonal area and I have then traced round them onto the tracing paper. There are some particularly tricky areas where the eyes are very dark and so is the surrounding area. So then what I need to do is try and separate those two areas so we can still recognise the eye. You'll notice on this design the edges are not smooth like a Native American stylized design. That's because I'm trying to show what feathers might look like. So that's why my edges have got a jaggedy appearance. Here you can see the eye and the surrounding area immediately around it is black and dark. What I need to do is make sure that eye is clear and easily recognisable as an eye. So what I'm going to do is put a loop or a halo around the edge of that eye shape and that will remain white. Halos should be about 1-2mm to two millimeters thick, not any thinner. If it's too thin it's going to be too difficult to cut out with the lino cutters. If it's too thick it could ruin the overall appearance of your design. you can see I've started to shade in the black areas and leave other areas white. I always start from the eyes and work my way out. Here you can see that little halo or that little loop around the eye already showing up very very clearly. To make shading faster I shade carefully around the outline first and then I quickly shade in the rest of the solid shape. This will speed things up for you. Once you've completed your shading all over, you should have an image that looks something like this, with just black and white. Next we're going to transfer your tracing paper design onto Lino. This is what the back of the Lino looks like. And this is where you should write your name and your class. The front of the Lino is a smooth grey surface. Now place your tracing paper face down onto the lino. Then draw over your design with a B pencil. If you've done this properly, the image should start to transfer onto the lino. After drawing the first few lines of your design, 
just peel back the tracing paper just to check it's coming out onto the lino. If you're worried about it moving around, blue tacking a couple of the corners will hold it firmly in place so that you don't end up not being able to line up your image correctly each time you check it. You should check your image on a regular basis. Do this all over until your image is complete on the lino.